Hey you guys, welcome to InScale Architect. Today we're going to look at some models that I have already put together. I apologize for getting some of these uh, videos out a little late. I was hoping to do a, uh, you know, do a video at least once a month or once every two weeks, but a GoPro malfunctioned. Now it's under warranty and it took a while for them to replace that. So I got a new GoPro and uh, started using it and then the SD card, something malfunctioned with that. So I had to get a new SD card and I had to get new GoPro batteries. So everything, it was a perfect storm. I used all that equipment on another YouTube channel I have. So it's well used. But anyway, I wanted to come back to you guys, let you know, give you some updates on where we are with some of these models. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so I'm gonna give you an overview of the models that I have been working on since Christmas. And many of these models here, you know, are some really old models that I have received from a friend who's actually getting out of the in scale business. And I'll go over these here models here in a minute, but I wanted to provide you with some other models that I have been working on that I purchased some time ago. And this is one of them. And uh, you can see how I weathered it. And I'll talk a little bit about this, okay? So, not bad. I uh, actually like the way it looks. And what I did to get this look is I went to Hobby Lobby. And they they have this brand of paint there. And this is, this is an acrylic paint, I believe, not... Yeah, it's acrylic. And let me zoom in here for you a little bit. Da, 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 da. I don't see a color listed on it. But, can you see that? It's a little kind of reddish brown. And I think this makes a good brick color. Now, besides this building here, which I did in this color... I also did this building here. And of course, look, does it look old? That's the intent and purpose, is to make it look old, because this is gonna be an old track side building. Okay. It's an old track side building. You know, the original part of it, you know, this is just an old, old model that was given to me, and I just wanted to repurpose it. So, what I did, is I painted it with this acrylic. And I don't see any name for this. So I apologize for that, but I can't help that. And then what I do is once I paint the structure and I let it dry, I take some of this finished drywall and you can get, you know, you can get a whole bucket of this for about 13 bucks. And then I take some of that and I put it in a little container like this. And what I do is I get, I get some, what I'll call dirty water. And this is paint. This is when I wash my brushes off from painting all of those models over there. And it creates a mixture of water that's kind of uh, dirty, dirty water. And I use that and I put it, I put some, you can see there, I put some drywall compound in there. I put a little bit of that dirty water in there. I mix that up. And then I paint it, I paint it right on the brick. Do you see that? And I just noticed I got another building here that I did the same thing with. You see that? So you can see that right there. So what I do is I take that drywall I take the drywall slurry and I just paint right over top of right over top of the model. And then I take a piece of paper towel and I dry cloth that and wipe it off. Wipe all that I can off of that. And you know, that's that's the look that I get. Doesn't that look cool? Comes out real nice, I think. It's really I'm really happy, really pleased with how this turned out. 
And then, uh, and this was another one of those models that I took. And that was the original color of it right there. You see how, you know, actually it doesn't look that far off from that color. But you really should paint any model you get to get rid of that plastic model look. And so I painted it with that color and then I took the drywall compound and I just rubbed it right over top of that with a brush. And then I took a paper towel and I removed it. So that's how I did that. So tell me what you guys do. How do you guys do it? How do you make your brick look? I did that because I used to have, say I used to have this, it's called brick mortar. And brick mortar, you know, this stuff's like seven or eight bucks, you know, seven or eight bucks. And it's, it's expensive. And all it is, is it's like white chalk and it's runny slurry and you paint it over top of a, a brick, you know, any kind of brick texture and uh you know and then you wipe it off and so i just start experimenting with drywall because drywall you can get good gosh you can get a ton of that you can even use a you know spackle you can get for like three or four bucks and it goes a long way and if you have a lot of models it's really important um so robert's brick mortar works well but if you want to do it on a cheap not much you should, I would just use drywall compound. All right, so I want to show you some other things that I've got done in the meantime. Here is another building I put together. And this is, this is a gravel, gravel company. And I actually am not going to use it for gravel. I have a scene I'm going to use for a sand plant. Now I live close to a sand plant and I've got uh, the sand box cars and a sand, uh, sand locomotive. Actually it's the Unimum, it's U-N-I-M-U-M, -M, Unimum sand plant. It's just about five miles down the road from me. And the Woodchester Western is a small private line that, that services that sand plant. And um, I've got some Winchester Western locomotives. They only made them, I believe, one year. They did one run. And I was able to put in a res reservation for that, and I got it. And so I'm really happy about that. But anyway, um, and I got, I got sand hoppers that are also the Winchester Western. And so I want to recreate this scene. This is another bridge I put together. You know, these bridges here are pretty cool. I don't know where I'm going to put this yet. And I had to paint all of this. And what I use is I use acrylic paints for all of this. And then again, I use, I take a slurry of a very liquidized black paint. And I go in the mortar joints. And it comes out looking like that. There is another one, another bridge I put together here over Christmas. And this one is, you know, it's, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but I use, what I use there is I made up my own rust colors and I put, I painted that like that. There's a concrete bridge I put together. And there is my refinery that I put together. Now all these models I put together in about two months. And all of these little models were all little houses that I was given, except, you know, there's, there's a couple car washes. Let me go over there. I'm gonna take you to this, I scratch built that. All right, let's go over there and take a look at that. Okay, so this, actually when it came, 
there was an awning right there where you see Gerard Trust Bank. There was an awning that went all the way across that. And what I did is I cut it and I made that, basically that little portico. And I actually made this here. And this was not part of it, but I, I handmade that. I got an ATM machine right there. Um, the tubes there are actually clear. Those are clear. And uh, it's the drive through at the bank. Put some people in there. I put this all on there. None of this came with this model. I built all of that. So I just took some scraps from other models and uh, put them on there. This is another model I put together. You, you see these a lot. These are very common models from the 70s. Of course, I painted it. I painted all the stone different colors there. Not sure where I'm gonna use this at yet. And here's another one. And I put a modern car in there. You see that? I put a modern car in there. That's a Mercedes. The hardest model I had to paint was this one right here, this old farmhouse. I want you to see what it used to look like. All the walls were that ugly yellow. The roof was this really ugly green. And this is what it looks like now. I hand painted all of this. These are all acrylic paints. And uh, when I get this built in, this is this is the my layout here. You know, when I get this all filled in right here, all of these buildings here are going to be situated out on this table right here. So I'm done with all my models. The only thing I have left to do is to do the landscaping, and the landscaping will probably be a combination. Let me go over here. It'll probably be a combination of something like this. So I'll probably have the tracks down low and I'll probably have an upper track up here. And this upper track here will have a lumber mill. I'll have a lumbering operation and all of that will be over there on that table. But I'm going to go ahead and show you some details of this layout. It's kind of like my shanty town right there. Goes over to a road goes on up to the coal mine there. All right. All right, you guys, thank you for joining me on this episode. Let me know what you guys want to see because I'm done with my model. So really, my layout is just about done. I just got the, I'll do the landscaping. When I do the landscaping, I'll, I'll actually record all of that. Now that I got a working GoPro and, uh, and uh, you know, I'll let you guys see my layout. It's a pretty big size layout. Anything you guys want to see up close, let me know and I'll, I'll do a video on that. All right, you guys have a great day. Thank you for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Have a good day.